Hey guys, how you going? My name's Carnage. Welcome back to another Boom Beach video. In today's video, I got a, some, a pretty cool task force attack to show you. Um, it's going to be on Powder Keg, and it's going to be a critter, critter takedown on Commodore. It's something I've wanted to do for a while. Um, so... I'm, pre I'm actually really happy that I got the chance to do this. My task force members weren't convinced that I'd be able to do it. And as you can see, I did deploy Hooker. But um, you'll see why I did that in a minute. Um, but we look at the boost. Um, the only thing I boosted was my gunboat. And I, I did a full boost on that, which was a 5 power powder boost. So we'll look at, we'll look at this. So I dropped four artilleries. I think I dropped four artilleries. Yeah, four artilleries. A fifth one, which I was surprised didn't kill it. Um, so we drop a sixth one, and that kills it. So that gives us a nice little window here at the back corner. Um, I dropped two barrages on those machine guns, which didn't get the job done, so I drop an artillery with it. Um... I think I might have dropped two artilleries in that, I'm not real sure. Um, but now we've got a nice window. The only thing here is, this boom cannon has range near the back. Not all the way to the back, but near it. And we need lots of critters alive to get the job done here, so... Um, I dropped an artillery on that, but I really didn't have the, the gunboat energy now, so... I have to drop my troops, and the goal here is just to farm power cells. This will give me lots of gunboat energy, and it'll give me the tools I need to take down this. So I had 8 energy left, I was able to drop a critter box to destroy it, which saved me gunboat energy. Um, that was great. Now we got our hookah doing that, and that's going to farm some energy up here, um, should be any, any moment now, I start dropping my critters, yep, there we go, so I drop my first box of critters, and this exposes a problem which I didn't address until later, and I, I, this actually cost me the attack, overall, I mean, it is close, but, it cost me the attack. So, I keep dropping critter boxes so I have more damage happening. That's great. But I'm losing critters to this machine gun and I'm not addressing it. I'm just trying to find a dead spot where I can drop a heat gun. What? But I actually did have the energy to take this thing out. I mean, one barrage and maybe an artillery could have killed it. So, I have I have a nice little dead spot happening here, but that's all that's happened. So now I address the machine gun. Now that that's out, now I can start dropping critters. But the thing is, look at where my hooker is. Now my hooker has destroyed all these cells. It's really towards the end of its lifespan. I'm not going to get a whole whole bunch of critter boxes to drop now and I've only got a minute to be able to take out this core and here's that's where the problem was I didn't give myself enough time to destroy it had that machine gun not been there had I just dropped everything really quick or had I even dropped the troops at the start and put them up there you know all I would have needed was about 10 seconds more than what I had and I would have had the job done so, I know that, that sounds a bit negative, probably, and I guess it in a way it is, but when I do task force attacks or when I attack a player base, whenever I fall short, I always go back over the attack, and all of you should do the same. When you go over your attack, you have to look at where you went wrong, how you could have improved, how you could have done it better, and that'll make you a better player. Because even the number one person in the world 
he even he can still do better attacks even he could improve so I think that's a really key point to note but yeah you seen how close I got there uh, that was 70k I believe 70,000 left health on the core so Hamlin attacks this now and as you can see everything's pretty much destroyed now so he drops two critter boxes So the attack actually went for 20 seconds, so I sort of sort of lied for a moment ago. I needed 20 seconds, but I did have more critters than he did. So, all right. So he does drop some artillery shots to help him out, but you sort of get the point. Had I dropped my troops at the start, sort of just you know, I'd got the buildings destroyed as quick as I could, so I could get some critter boxes down. I could have had this over in one attack. But anyway, I thought I thought this was pretty cool. It's a strategy you ne almost never see employed on Commodore. It's one of the harder bases to take down. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if you did, let me know in the comment section what you thought. Um, if you've done anything like this, um, I'd be really ha I'd be really interested to hear about it. So I'll see you guys in the next one.